Welcome back to lesson five in first century methods of searching the scriptures. I call it first century, I think I explained this before, because we have a body of literature that we can reconstruct the, what people, certainly the way they lived, the way they searched the scriptures, and it is so different from the way we are taught in church, in seminary, in universities. It's dramatically different, and it requires a different way of thinking. You've been memorizing the Hebrew alphabet, and you've learned how to do a word study. So I'm, you're going to be doing a lot of word studies from this point forward in, in this program. And you're going to be working with Hebrew words because you're memor memorizing the Hebrew alphabet. You'll be working with Hebrew words. And when you look at, at, the, at the passages in which these Hebrew words are used and you begin to get a sense of meaning and a feeling for patterns, you're going to be starting to think Hebrew, even though you don't know the Hebrew language. But it's, it's a different way of thinking. And this is what we're leading you to do, I trust. So we are in the process of recovering this ancient method of Bible study and applying it in our own uh, method of Bible study today. So let's take a look now at, uh, we're in lesson five. We're going to work on imagery, symbol, and metaphor. I want you to learn to do a number of things. First of all, Hebrew is a language that evokes a lot of visual images. And I want you to learn to visualize these, these images as, as you're reading the biblical text. I want pictures to flash in front of your mind and just to have these, this, to, to get the, the, the images in your mind because of this imagery. I want you to hear symbols and react to symbols. And we're going to, symbols are fairly easy to work with. We're going to work on that. But then I want you to, uh, to recognize a metaphor. Now, you may know what a metaphor is. You may not know what a metaphor is. <laughs> Regardless of whether you know or not, it's going to take some work to really get into biblical metaphors and what they do to the meaning of the text. So we're going to be unraveling these seemingly obscure metaphors. They sure have a lot of fun meaning. So let's start with the concept of imagery. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you into a passage that is going to evoke that visual image. That's what I want. I want that visual image. This is Saul, not Saul, uh, Samuel. This is the prophet Samuel who is identifying David as the one who's going to be the next king. And what we have is we have a description of David. He's a young man, uh, probably a teenager. And we read that David was ruddy with beautiful eyes and a handsome appearance. Now in English, which is an analytical language, we tend to just read over that. But you need to stop and get a real picture. David was ruddy. The word means red. Now, he didn't have red skin. I mean, he wasn't red that way. We, we think it means that he had red hair because Red hair is characteristic uh, in, in the Jewish community. There are people who crop up with red hair. You know, you think of red hair as coming from Ireland, but there are Jews with red hair. My mother-in-law is a Jew, and she, she had beautiful red hair. And so, apparently, did David. And it, so I want you to get a picture of this teenage boy with this, this red hair. And he had beautiful eyes. Now... In Hebrew, it, it, it's not the beauty that matters. I think what you want to say is his eyes look at you and they're penetrating. I mean, you're drawn to his eyes. There's something about his eyes that draws you in, this red-headed teenager. Something about his eyes and a handsome appearance. A handsome, again, doesn't mean beautiful handsome like English. I mean, he was handsome in the eyes of the ancient world. I mean, he, he had, he had a... a, a a body, a strong body, and, and everything about him was just put together just right. This is our David, and this is the imagery, and I want you to practice working with this imagery. Thank you so much for watching. 
Please subscribe to our channel to receive updates on our newest videos. Visit BibleInteract.tv for more in-depth video teachings and keep up with us on Facebook and Twitter. Click on the links next to me to view more videos like this one and become a donor on our Patreon page. Join us in uncovering the hidden meanings in Scripture.